is going on you guys what is going on you guys and welcome to a new video in today's video we have nfl wait a minute yes nfl week 10 NFL, NFL, week 10 predictions. So we're going to start off the Bears and the Panthers already played. Let's scratch that. I was going to pick the Bears. I have picked against the Panthers every single game this year. Every single one. They're 1-7, one so they helping me out. Um, we're going to go Colts versus the Patriots. I'm going to take the Colts. No, 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 no. Yeah, I'm going to take the Colts in a 21-18 game, close game, but I take Indianapolis there. Ravens versus Cleveland. Ravens have been looking absolutely phenomenal. Have the NFL uh, scouters, the NFL analysts, everyone talking crazy. The Browns just won in a 20-0 game, but we're going to obliterate Cleveland. And if not, I still got us winning. I'll go 20, I'll go 35, 14. Okay, now here we got the Packers versus the Pittsburgh Steelers. Here's my thing. I got the Packers losing because Pittsburgh is actually pulling games off. I want the Packers to win because if you guys don't know, yes, I'm a Ravens fan. I love my Ravens, etc. But I think the Packers will lose this one here. Um, Jacksonville versus the freaking 49ers. Now, week three, this would have been a much more lit matchup to me. But if I'm being honest, Jaguars are going to beat the 49ers. The 49ers are kind of dropping down to where we think they should realistically be. I don't think that they are this monstrous team. I, I just I just don't I just don't okay um, we're gonna go Saints Vikings I'm gonna take the Saints even though the Vikings got um Josh Dobbs and he won last week in a comeback victory I'm still gonna take the Saints especially Derek Carr and them they're looking kind of decent now um you know I feel bad I, I, every time I hear Derek Carr or Devontae Adams or Raiders or Saints I just think of that like duo was supposed to stay together and wreak havoc and they got ripped apart weeks into their journey <laughs> the Texans versus the Bengals I'm going to take an upset game I'm going to take the Texans to beat the Bengals the Texans to beat the Bengals in a 28-21 game upset game of the week right there and and not being biased, the Bengals are on a roll and they looking good, but the Texans are also on a roll and looking good. Um, we got Tennessee Titans versus the Buccaneers. Now, granted, maybe two weeks ago, three weeks ago, I'm picking Buccaneers easily. Now we got a revamped temp. Uh, now we got a revamped Titans team. Um, the Buccaneers, you know, they're not looking shabby. They're three and they're both three and five teams. Buccaneers could have won, I think, two of those games also, and I think the Titans could have won one or something like that. But I'm gonna go ahead and take. Um, I'm gonna go Buccaneers, but I'm gonna say that Will Levis is gonna have a great game. Um, then we got the Detroit, Detroit, Detroit Lions, Lions. Um, I'm going to take the Lions. 
Um, I think it'll be a good game. I think we'll go 24-17. Um, then we're going to go Arizona Falcons. Um, I'm going to take the Falcons. I think, um, you know, um, Heineke looked good last week. They got upset by a phenomenal drive by Dobbs. Nothing you can say. But I'm going to take the Falcons to beat the Cardinals, regardless of the return of Kyler Murray. I don't think it makes a big of a difference. I don't think he's that phenomenal of a quarterback. Um, then we got the Giants, Cowboys. I'm going to take the Cowboys. I, the Gi well... Daniel Jones is out and Tyrod Taylor is in and Tyrod is looking good. Yeah. We're going to take the Cowboys. And then we got three more games. Three, just three more games on the week. We have the Seattle Seahawks versus the Washington Commanders. Washington and the Seattle Seahawks. Now, both these teams, well, Seattle is 5-3 uh, and three, and Washington is 4-5. and five. I'm going to take Washington here. I think that Seattle wants to bounce back from... I think Seattle wants to bounce back from what the Ravens did to them last week, as any team would. And I think that they're going to go in here super, like, trying to do that. But I think the Commanders are also really needing just that one or two more wins this year that could really put them into the spot and I think this is one of those games that if they could pull off it look good later on um, and then we got the Jets the Jets versus the Raiders now the, 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 the Raiders obviously looked good with the new head coach with the new everything but the Jets have played well they have played decent behind that boy Zach Wilson. Um, I think that the Jets pull this one off as well. I think they go five and four and they start looking at the bright side of things because you win four, three, four more games. Now you're hinting at a Aaron Rodgers return for a possible playoff push that got led by Zach Wilson and kind of is going to be televised. You, you know what I'm saying? You picking up what I'm putting down kind of thing. You know what I mean? <laughs> okay. Um, last game we got on Monday Night Football. Uh, we got the Broncos versus Bills. I'm going to take the Broncos. You guys are looking at me like I'm crazy. This is going to be my second upset of the week. We have two upsets this week. Um, this will be my second. Um, I think that the Broncos beating the Chiefs is, was not a fluke. I'm not saying that the, the Broncos are a good team. I'm not saying the Broncos are going to make the playoffs. Oh, what I'm saying, though, is that was a good game to really set your humbling. Like, we can do this. We can, we can actually win games. You know what I mean? So I think them just beating them and then going against another high-powered kind of offensive team, if they can kind of play the same kind of game that they played, the Bills not being as good as the Chiefs, they may be able to win again. So I'll go with that. But if you're going to do anything on a ticket or any fan duel or any bets, do not put that one down on me because the Bills could also easily go in this thing and 38-0 the Broncos. So I'm just going off of what my vibe is and what I'm feeling. I know that's kind of what you're supposed to do with the bets and stuff, but... That's, that's a risky one. I wouldn't put a punch down on that, but it'd be a big return, so don't sleep. But, um, yeah, man, I'm super excited. NFL's really picking up. We're midway through the season. My Ravens are 7-2, and two, man. Yeah. Yep, my Ravens are 7-2. and two. We haven't even had a bye week yet. I think we get a nice bye after the next two games. We got the Browns, and then we see the Bengals on Thursday night, and then I think we get a break. Um, so I'm not gonna lie to you. If we can beat the if we can beat the Browns, and and that would be the second time that we beat Cleveland, and us to jump to eight and two already would really, really help us out. Um, and I would love that. So 
everyone um if you like this new little lighting this new little vibe drop a like comment and subscribe down below if you're new to the channel drop your favorite nfl team who you got in the playoffs who do you think is gonna win this week let's on these videos let's always talk football all day but if you enjoyed the video drop a like comment and subscribe and if you're going to bed or if this was background noise just relax, relax. Good night, good night.